He's saying there's only a fifth as massive as Jupiter and it's 40% larger. It's like Herculubus, but you don't have to worry about it because it's made of styrofoam. Even if it hits Earth, you know, the only thing you can do is make Earth cooler. But that only makes sense. Why don't you spick your scopy a hot dog for me? What do you got for me? Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Zoo. You're right, sir. Slow your rotation, stellar fool. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Hell yeah! We're flying now! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for all your love and support during my trying times of trouble. Where I got like a weird... Weaponized alien flu virus disease infection from California. It seems to have made me healed. At least I'm, uh, I don't feel like I'm dying anymore. Anyway, so I'm going to be a little rusty. Bear with me. But I figured if I was going to start on a video, this would be the one to do it. We're at physics.org. We're about to make fun of science. And scientists in the crap they try and sell us as the truth. Now, this may be true, but it sure seems funny. New styrofoam planet provides tools in search of for habitable planets. And you know what's great? When I think of stuff that is flame and heat resistant, I think of styrofoam. Wait, what? Like seriously, a styrofoam planet? What's next? How many things they even got left to tell us? Like, oh yeah, dude, we found a planet made of peeps. You know? Like, what are they gonna name this new planet? Koozie? I know it sounds like an insult. Like, whatever you koozie. But but it's a, it's an actual term. It's a beer holder for a thing. It keeps your beer cold. At least it's supposed to. I just use koozies because it makes me look cool. It started from a couple days ago, but like I said, I've been trying to catch up. Oh man, why are you sticking an ad in the middle of the paragraph that messes up my visual feng shui? And, at least, come on, hacker people. At least pick a word that's decent or cryptic. And, there's no shit there. Like, that doesn't tell me nothing. God, hackers are the worst communicators of all time. <sighs> I don't know if I'm all mentally there. I'm on like 875 milligrams of antibiotics and anti-inflammatories so bear with me oh my god did you seriously start this article with fifth graders making styrofoam solar system models that's the sound of me banging my microphone this is my forehead may have the right idea and that's what it feels like everything in science is geared towards fifth graders it's like the iss is only up there to help fifth graders with their science projects all right 10 year olds you got the right idea. Researchers at Lahai University have discovered a new planet orbiting a star 320 light years from Earth that has the density of styrofoam. You know what? Just because it has the density of styrofoam, that does not make it styrofoam. This puffy planet, which is denser, styrofoam or marshmallow? Why don't you just say it's a marshmallow planet? Or did you think that would sound too stupid? So you know it's styrofoam. Like, that sounds way more scientific because... A marshmallow is delicious and associated with the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Styrofoam. It's hard to associate anything negative with styrofoam other than the trash that is filling up our oceans and our landfills, and it's not biodegradable. Oh, and this thing is 320 light years from Earth. It means if you had a car could drive in outer space and it could drive light speed, it would take you 320 years to get there. All right, you're the one who's staying here with me. Like I said, I'm still pretty sick. I'm only like 60% health. And on a bunch of medication. But I'm trying. So I'm tired of doing nothing. All right, so our puffy plant has a density of styrofoam asterisk. Asterisk. And this may hold opportunities for testing atmospheres that will be useful when assessing future planets for signs of life. And you just know that if they find alien life signs in our solar system or six trillion light years away, the first thing they're going to do is run to a microphone and tell us, hey, y'all, we found aliens. All right. Yeah, let's, let's let's continue, shall we? It is highly inflated. What the goofiness of this article? Well, it's only a fifth as massive as Jupiter. It is nearly forty percent larger. You want to know how they know this? They took a sun portal all the way out to the planet, put it on a scale, weighed it, even though mass is not weight, and then we're like, hell yeah, we are verified our findings. Can we get a Twitter blue check on our science? All right, so you're saying there's only a fifth of massive as Jupiter and it's 40% larger. It's like Herculubus, but you don't have to worry about it because it's made of styrofoam. Even if it hits Earth, you know, the only thing you can do is make Earth cooler. But that only makes sense. With an extraordinarily large atmosphere, said Joshua 
Pepper. I wonder if he's a prepper. Well, if he's got a PhD, I wonder if his family invented Dr. Pepper. Insert Mitch Hedberg joke about Mr. Pibb here. He's an astronomer and an assistant professor of physics at La Ha. It sounds like he's been smoking something that got him La Ha. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Who led this study in collaboration with researchers from Vanderbilt University and Ohio State University, along with researchers at universities and observatories and amateur astronomers around the world. You know, because that's how science is. It's like, if they're doing missile testing to blow stuff up, they're like, hey, let's get some amateur demolitionist guys in here to help us. The research, whoa, K-E-L-T, T-E-L, 11B, a highly inflated sub-Saturn exoplanet transiting the V8 subgiant HD 93396. Man, should have had a V8. It's published online in the Astronomical Journal. Wait, is this some cryptic message to me? The planet's host star is extremely bright, allowing precise measurement of the planet's atmospheric properties and making it an excellent test bed for measuring the atmosphere of other planets. Oh, yeah, sweet. Yeah, let's choose a planet 320 light years away and have that be the test bed for how we test other planets' atmospheres. You know, let's not take Proxima Centauri B or even Trappist. B, which is like 7 to 10 light years away. Let's take one 30 times farther. The planet's host star is extremely bright. Wow, I bet it's so bright you can take photographs of it. Can I see some of these photographs? Maybe. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm feeling kind of grumpy, I guess. We are putting it in the Google. Because I think we all agree Google knows everything. All right, so here's our Googled Kelt 11B. It's almost like you know, planet 9. Is a hot Neptune. It's blue. It's like white or off-white blue. Oh my God! Do I see a photograph? There's Kelp B. Wait, is that the photo? Looks real. It looks almost like a Jupiter. Most of them look like illustrations of. We got a diagram. Puffy planet. You know what they say? More density, more problems. Discover a highly inflated sub-Saturn extrasolar planet. This is the Palomar AO image. Of Kelt 11. Okay, so we're looking at the star. All right, there's the star. Oh, yeah, and you can tell so much. And that's just the star. We don't even see the planet. And maybe it's one of those four little dots. Or maybe it's those two little dots that are in the Sun Baby area range. Yeah, I can tell so much about that. Like, A, that star is like six trillion pounds. It gives off 726 clicks of luminosity. It lacks country music. But it doesn't like Western music, which is weird. Must be a cultural difference. It eats fish, but not pork. It's on the fence about chicken. It likes Donald Trump's fiscal policies, but not his social programs. It would never date a brown dwarf. And it has the hots for rocky planets. See? There you go. The more you know. Oh, let's click on more. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, that's plot. See, that's not the same. Oh, Bud Light wallpaper. Animated GIFs. Thank you, Bud Light. I was like, wow, that's crazy. This photograph has color. It's because it's from Bud Light. It's weird. They keep showing this thing like, this is the picture. But it doesn't say anywhere whether or not that's a photograph. So if we could photograph something 320 light years away as well as we can Jupiter, it's fascinating. Kelt 11B, Planete de Espuma. There's Trappist. So yeah, all this, I found one photograph. Is that a photograph? Wait, how can I tell? Why don't you spectroscopy a hot dog for me? Crowdsourcing astronomers confirm existence of exoplanets. I don't know. Now I'm off the rails, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to the article. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's, that's not in that article. The I Love Science store. Come buy our shit. All right. I don't think I can finish this article. It went far too off the rails. I'll give it a shot just for you. All right. Maybe I'll, I'll come back to this because I've lost my interest in the story. <laughs> I think I just want to make a star from you. I'm sorry. You can, you can unsubscribe or call me names in the comments or whatever. I don't care. <sighs> All right. Peace out. God bless you more. Can aliens hear us? I hope not because I just farted.